Hello, beautiful yogis. Welcome to another practice. My name is Kyle and welcome to Kala Yoga. I have got a really fun class lineup today. It's a nice vinyasa practice with a good few twists and balancing stuff, working into some core, for strength, flexibility, all the nice touch points. And I'm going to ask you today just to, again, focus on your breath and your attention, try and synchronize them together and really feel your way through your practice and see how that changes your experience. We will begin today in a child's pose. So you can make your way there, having your knees out wide, extend the arms out and allow yourself to melt down onto your mat. Begin by taking a few deep breaths to arrive, allowing the day to wash off, feel the gravity, feel the connection with your mat, close your eyes and embody your sense of attention. Inhale to full. Exhale, walk your hands off to the right-hand side of your mat, stacking your left hand on top of the right. And then you're gonna ground the palms and then pull length along the left side, sitting the hips back, wrapping the left shoulder down. Inhale, walk your hands through to center. Exhale, walk your hands to the left-hand side. Right hand stacks on top of the left, plant them down, and then draw length as you breathe into the right side. Inhale, hands through center. Exhale, tabletop, rise up. Make yourself into a nice square shape, shoulders over wrists, hips over knees. Inhale, cow, low the belly. Gaze up, exhale, cat, curl and press with your breath. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. Nice, and release coming into a puppy's pose. Extend your arms out in front of you and you're gonna bring your either your forehead or your chin or your chest down into the ground. And from here, you wanna just make sure that your hips are stacked over your knees. A little bit difficult to tell, but you're gonna find a nice sweet spot. This is a great posture to improve your posture, in fact. Really does work on reversing the roll of your spine when you sit at a desk. Keep breathing. And release hands, come back underneath your shoulder, coming into a tabletop. And inhale, easy twist, right arm reaches up to the sky, open up through the chest. Exhale, thread the needle. So right shoulder comes down to the floor and left arm reaches out in front of you. And release, left arm comes back underneath your shoulder. Inhale, easy twist, right arm reaches back up to hold. Now extend your right leg to the back of the mat, coming into a supported side lunge. So we have got our left leg down in a supported side plank, my apologies. So right arm up, extend the right leg back and reach through the fingers. Now spread the fingers of your left hand nice and wide and with control, draw your right knee into your chest. And as you exhale, step the right foot to the top of the mat coming into low lunge. If you need to, you can reposition your back foot. Hands down, inhale, look forward, open through the chest. Exhale, half split, straighten the right leg, draw the hips back and flex the right toes. Inhale, crescent moon, rise up, keep your back knee down, look up. Exhale, open through your chest and load the arms and arch back. Inhale, crescent moon, reach the arms up to the sky. Exhale, three-legged dog, plant the hands down, tuck the back toe and right leg extends up and back. Inhale to reach the right leg up a little bit higher. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward and tap. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg extends up and back once again. Even the weight between your hands. Exhale, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands. Now this time, keep your back knee up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid pose, press and straighten the front leg, bow towards the front foot. Do this one more time. Inhale, low lunge, bend to the right knee. Exhale, pyramid, draw back on the right hip. Inhale, low lunge, bend to the right knee, look forward. 
Exhale, standing L. Launch off into the right foot, left leg comes up into the sky. So we're balancing on the right foot. Left leg comes up, relax the back of the neck. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, forward fold, bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, high mountain, bend the knees, arms reach up to the sky, look up. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms, look up and arch back. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, samasitihi, bring your hands through to pray. Close your eyes and take a moment to set an intention for your practice. Blink the eyes open. Inhale, high mountain, arms rise. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine and prepare. Exhale, plank, step back. Now throughout these practices, you are more than welcome to lower your knees if needed. Inhale, shift forward, tuck your elbows in. Exhale, lower all the way down to your belly, nice and slow. When you get there, untuck the toes, hands come beneath your shoulders. Inhale, cobra. Lift the chest, tuck the chin, draw the shoulders back. Hold. Keep breathing. And release to lower down nice and slow. Hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes, take a deep breath in. Exhale, child's pose, press back. Inhale, tabletop, rise up. Square yourself off. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, cow, lower the belly, look forward. Exhale, cat pose, curl and press. Inhale, cow, lower the belly. Exhale, cat, curl. Neutral, tabletop. Inhale, easy twist. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Press down through the right palm, gaze up. Exhale, thread the needle. Left arm comes underneath the right. You can lower the left side of your head onto the floor and reach the right arm alongside your ear. And release, right arm comes underneath your shoulder. Inhale, easy twist, left arm reaches up to hold. Extend your left leg to the back of the mat, coming into a supported side plank. So ground the left leg on the right knee, left arm reaches up to the sky. If you want to, you can see if you can tease your left foot off the floor and then with control, draw your left knee into your chest and then step it to the top of the mat, coming into a low lunge. Inhale, look forward, open up through the chest. Exhale, half splits, drop your left hip back, straighten the left leg and flex your left toes. Inhale, crescent moon, reach your arms up, keep your back knee down, gaze up. Exhale, open up through the chest, cactus the arms, look up and arch back. Inhale, crescent moon, arms reach up. Exhale, three-legged dog, hands down, left leg extends up and back. Take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, knee to nose, shift forward and squeeze. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg extends up and back. Exhale, low lunge. Step the left foot to the front of the mat. Keep your back knee up. Inhale, gaze forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten the left leg. Draw back on the left hip. One more time. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward. Exhale, pyramid pose. Shift back. Inhale, low lunge. Come forward and prepare. Exhale, standing L. Right leg comes up to the sky. Hold and breathe. Keep the leg nice and active. Bend your standing leg. Ground down through the left heel. Relax the back of the neck. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Bow down and release. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, high mountain. Reach the arms up to the sky. Gaze up. Exhale, back bend, cactus the arms, open up to the chest, so lift the chest up. Inhale, high mountain, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold and release. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine and prepare. 
Exhale, Chaturanga, step back to plank, lower halfway. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and lower the heels down. Inhale, bend your knees, look forward. Exhale, step, jump or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sit down to the heels. Arms reach up, hold and breathe. Squeeze the thighs, straight through the fingers, wrap the pinkies in, melt the shoulders down. Stay for the inhale. And with your exhale, coming into a flying chair. So bring the chest forward, arms back. Keep your legs bent and squeeze and come high onto the tops of your toes. So send your heels up. Options to stay. And if you'd like a little bit more, you can come into a diver's pose. This time you interlace your hands behind your back and bow down to the floor and straighten the legs. Still high on the balls of the feet. So you're sending your hips and your heels up. Sending the hands over the head and you're balancing on the tips of your toes. And release. Inhale, chair. Heels down, arms rise up to hold. Now with control, slowly sit your hips all the way down to the back of the heels, coming down onto the floor. And we're going to move into Navasana or boat pose. Options here to stay with your feet down. You can have your, your kind of your shins parallel to the floor with your arms back. Or you can have your arms out beside you balancing on your sitting bones. So I'd encourage that you have a nice straight spine. So open up through the chest. Hold and breathe. Inhale. Exhale, low boat. So lower all the way down, legs to hover. Arms come by your sides. Inhale to rise up. Navasana. Exhale, low boat. Down. Two more times. Inhale, rise. Open up through the chest. Exhale down. Last time. Inhale, rise. Exhale, down. And release to the floor. Draw your knees into your chest and you can rock and roll from front to back. Do at least three or four. Making your way to the front of your mat, coming into a malasana or a wide-legged yogi squat. You can see if you can roll your way there. Having the knees out wide, you can either stay up on the tops of the feet or sink down into the heels. Having your Hands at prayer, elbows on the inside of your knees. Close your eyes and you can begin to sway from left to right. Inhale, extend your arms out in front of you. Exhale, forward fold to straighten out the back of the legs and release. You can interlace your hands behind your back, squeeze your elbows together. And with an exhale, send them up and over your head. and release the hands down. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine to prepare. Exhale, Chaturanga, hands down to plank, step back and lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes, squeeze the thighs, look up. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg rises. Exhale, right knee to left elbow, cross over and hold. Extend the right leg out, place it off beside your mat. Inhale, fallen star or fallen triangle. Left arm reaches up to the sky. Ground down through the heels and raise the hips up. Hold and breathe. Release, left hand comes back down. Inhale, three-legged dog, right leg reaches up and back. Even the weight between your hands. Exhale, low lunge, right foot comes in between your hands. Keep your back knee up. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, pyramid. Straighten the front leg. Draw back on the right hip. Inhale, low lunge. Bend into the right knee. Look forward. Exhale, skandasana to the back of the mat. Bend into the left leg. Straighten the right. Inhale, skandasana to the front. Low and slow. Bend into the right. Left leg straightens. Exhale, prasarita. Wide-legged forward fo fold. Turn your toes slightly in. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release. Inhale, star, bend the knees, reach the arms up to the sky, turn the toes out, look up. Exhale, horse, squat down into the heels, draw the elbows in, open the chest. 
Inhale, star. Arms rise up. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Bend into the right knee. Arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side angle. Shift forward. Left arm along the ear. Little to no weight in the front leg. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back and prepare. Exhale, half moon. Launch off onto the right foot. Right arm down. Left arm up. Activate your left leg. Hold and breathe. Find the balance. Find the focal point for your eyes. Extend through all the limbs. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, Shiva squat. Crouch into a little ball. Left leg comes behind the right. Stay for the inhale. Exhale, standing L. Left leg comes up to the sky. And release, forward fold, feet to meet. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine, reset. Exhale, fold. Inhale, chair, sit down into the heels, arms rise. Options to stay or move into flying chair. Arms come back, chest forward. Still up on the toes, so heels up. And open through the chest, options to stay. Or you can move into a diver's pose, interlacing the hands behind the back. Send the hands up and over the head as you bring your chest down and straighten your legs out. Release, inhale, chair, sit down into the heels, arms reach up. And as you exhale, gently lower the hips down to the heels, making your way with control into Navasana or boat pose. Having, you, having your arms wherever you like, so out beside you or up in the sky. Engage your core. See if you can straighten the spine and open the chest. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, low boat, lower all the way down, legs to hover just off the floor. Use your core. Inhale to rise up, Navasana, open up through the chest, shoulders back. Exhale, low boat, one more time. Inhale, Navasana, rise. Exhale, low boat to release. Draw the knees into the chest, rock and roll from front to back. Do at least three or four rocks, making your way from the top of the spine all the way to the lower part. And when you're ready, we're going to rock and roll into a malasana or wide-legged yogi squat at the top of your mat. Sit down into the heels. Take a moment to reconnect with your breath. Inhale, reach the arms forward. Exhale, forward fold. Straighten out the back of the legs. Heel toe your feet to touch. Inhale, halfway lift. Straighten the spine and prepare. Exhale, chaturanga, step back to plank. Lower halfway, elbows in. Inhale, up dog, roll over the toes. Squeeze the thighs, shoulders back. Exhale, down dog, send the hips up and melt your heels down. Inhale, three-legged dog, left leg rises. Exhale, left knee to right elbow. Cross over and hold. Extend the left leg out, place it down. Inhale, fallen star. Right arm reaches up to the sky. Turn the hips up. Ground down through the heels. Reach through the right fingers. Release. Right hand comes back down. Inhale, three-legged dog. Left leg up into the sky. Exhale, low lunge. Left foot in between your hands. Keep your back knee raised. Inhale, look forward. Open the chest. Exhale, pyramid pose. Straighten the left leg. Draw back on the left hip. Inhale, low lunge, bend into the left knee, look forward. Exhale, skandasana to the back, bend into the right heel, left leg straightens. Exhale, skandasana to the front, bend into the left leg, right leg straightens. Inhale, prasarita, wide-legged forward fold. Stay for the exhale. Inhale, halfway lift, straighten the spine. Exhale, fold and release, having your feet slightly turned in, long through the spine and see if you can Hinge at the crease of your hips. Inhale, star. Reach the arms out to the sky. Turn the heels out. Reach up. Exhale, horse. Squat down. Elbows in. Weight into the heels. Inhale, star. Arms rise. Exhale, warrior two to the front. Bend into the left leg. Arms level out. Inhale, reverse warrior. Turn the palm and reach back. Exhale, extended side. Elbow to knee. Arm alongside the ear. Inhale, reverse wire, turn the palm, reach back and prepare. Exhale, half moon, step off onto the left foot, right leg comes up into the sky. Spread 
your fingers wide, reach through all the limbs, find the balance, engage the core, long, tall, straight spine, inhale to fill, exhale Shiva squat, crouch down into a little ball, right leg comes behind your left, stay for the inhale, exhale standing L, right leg comes up into the sky, relax the back of the neck, and release, forward fold, bow down, inhale halfway lift, straighten the spine, exhale fold, inhale chest, sit down into the heels, arms reach up, that's the last bit of effort, as you exhale, slowly lower down into the heels, so sitting the hips back, you lower down onto the floor, and extend your legs out in front of you. We're going to come into a Pachimottanasana, east facing forward fold, bend the knees, come onto the front of your sitting bones, inhale, reach the arms up, exhale, shift forward with a straight spine and release. You want to make sure that your belly is pressed onto your thighs and once you have that connection you can gently walk your hips back into a nice sweet spot. Close your eyes and breathe. Inhale to release and roll up. And as you exhale, gently lower down into your back, coming into a reclined wind remover, drawing the right knee into your chest. Give it a good squeeze. You're going to draw the knee in towards the chest and slightly out towards the right shoulder. Activate your left leg. Tuck your chin. Inhale. Exhale, supine twist. Lower the right knee over to the left-hand side. Look up and over the right shoulder as you rinse your spine out. And release, right knee draws in. And as you exhale, exchange them out, left leg comes in, reclined wind remover. Interlace the hands onto the front of the left shin, draw it into the chest and draw the knee out, slightly out towards the left shoulder. Flex your right toes, tuck your chin. Breathe into the belly. On your next exhale, release the leg over to the right hand side, supine twist, gaze up and over the left shoulder. And release. Draw both knees into your chest. Give yourself a giant squeeze of love. Take a moment for your physical practice and your intention. And as you exhale, release and relax into Shavasana. Well done. Take up some space. Allow the toes to fall out. Palms to face up. Make any loss adjustments. Close the eyes. Inhale into the belly to fill. Open mouth. Exhale to release and let that go. Do that one more time. Inhale. Exhale. See if you can lay still in your Shavasana, just noticing any sensations, noticing what comes up for you from your practice. And see if you can, with a soft sense of attention, just notice the breath, or notice the sensations. And if you lose the focus into the realm of thoughts, that's fine. With some compassion, you can just notice that and then return it into the body.
You're welcome to lay here for as long as you like. Thank you very much for putting such a beautiful effort into your self-practice and into this channel. If you have any comments, I'll be down below. If you'd like to support me in this channel and the growth of this community, you're more than welcome to leave a comment or subscribe to the channel or join my Patreon page. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another practice. Namaste.